Quietly, I said, carpet choices, please. And the student complied with a smile. Cheery compliance is why classroom rules are important. Seriously, you may be thinking, what's the big deal? The lovely boy to whom I had spoken had chosen this moment for the first time in months to lie down on his tummy during carpet time. This kiddo had come to me as a behavioral student and I knew that my VP, who was sitting on a chair right beside the student, was watching this interaction intently. No sweat, because our classroom rules and all the systems that support them had been in place for so long, the moment passed. The ease for all of us in that moment is why classroom rules are important. Thanks for joining me today for five reasons why classroom rules are important. Hey there, teachers. Marion Busfield here with Engaging Curiosity. Thanks so much for joining me here for one of my weekly videos. As a faith-led, retired classroom and SPED teacher, my passion is to support you on your journey to calm classroom chaos and elevate student engagement in ways that free up your time outside of the classroom. Despite my passion for teaching, my transition from learning support into the classroom filled me with fear and trepidation. I knew at least some of my weaknesses and that left me with some imposter syndrome. Fortunately, as a former SPED coordinator, homeschool parent and teacher, literacy interventionist and program coordinator, and most importantly, wife to a high school teacher and mother of two, I brought decades of diverse experiences with me that I'm here to share with you. As I applied everything I learned, classroom management became a breeze and teaching became everything I had believed it could be. I have bolded it all down to five pillars of classroom management upon which everything else rests. To find out more about those five pillars of classroom management, download my free classroom management checklist. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get back to today's topic. Let's dig in. One, classroom rules establish expectations. This may be a matter of semantics to some of you, but I like the word expectations far more than the word rules. Expectations seem to me to be more like what we can look forward to each day from each other. Rules seem like a command from on high enforced with a ruler. However, for the sake of common language, I will refer to classroom rules. Re regardless of which one you prefer, classroom expectations and rules create the behavioral boundaries for the classroom. As a teacher, you are creating an environment that the student has not experienced before. Parents and other teachers all have different sets of boundaries. Why rules are important at school is because rules are always bringing together children from different families with different values and priorities. And often we are also bringing students together that have been taught by teachers with different priorities and classroom rules. Your expectations obviously make sense to you. Getting everyone on the same page is why classroom rules are important. No one can reach a goal that has not been identified and you can't be consistent in your classroom management if you have not got solid boundaries established. So two, why are rules important for students? Student safety and well-being are built on the foundation of classroom rules. Students will not risk making mistakes if they do not feel safe and much of the learning that sticks in our lives is derived from our mistakes. As soon as a well thought out classroom rules are established, students can be more confident that their physical and emotional safety is protected. By creating this safe place, you have created an environment in which they can take chances, make mistakes, and learn from their past mistakes. Emergencies are a great example of why classroom rules are important. Hopefully you will have predicted emergency routines and still it is in those critical times that you do not want students questioning whether or not to comply with your instructions. Three, classroom rules help us to build respect for each other and a sense of responsibility. Through classroom rules, students learn to respect and care for themselves, each other, and the learning environment, especially when they participate in creating the expectations. Life skills like accountability and responsibility are essential for success, not only in school, but later in life. Without classroom rules and expectations, there's nothing to hold students accountable to and there's nothing identified for them to take responsibility for. Creating functioning, contributing, respectful, community-minded citizens is a powerful reason why classroom rules are important. 
Hey there again. Thank you for spending this time with me. Just a reminder about the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Number four, classroom rules provide the right environment for your for focused productivity. When are you most focused and productive? Is it when you are secure in your environment or when you feel on guard? If you have to look up every few moments to make sure you are safe, then it is hard to string together two thoughts. When students are focused and productive, they are less likely to be disruptive to other students. This is a positive vicious circle. Well, established classroom rules minimize disruptions, nurture engagement and feed productivity, which make the best use of classroom time. Engagement supports an ownership of classroom expectations as students know what they need to do to continue on with the task at hand. They stay on task as they know what they are expected to do. Win, win, win. Number five, school rules are important because they are foundational for a positive classroom culture. If you have learned to back up your classroom rules with appropriate behavior consequences, you are communicating a you can do it message to your students. Assuming you are not asking students to do things that are beyond their ability, reinforcing expectations is a powerful strategy for communicating to students that you believe they are capable. This can be very simple. I remember one time very early in the year that I had one bright, mischievous, kind, funny student decide to challenge me. <coughs> Excuse me. He was chatting with a friend and he liked it. So I gave him a choice. Do the engaging activity that I've provided you in a focused, productive and not disruptive way or learn the same content from this boring black and white worksheet. He got it. His friend got it. The other students got it. Simple, effective, positive, and it was all about a choice that I gave them based on the classroom rules that were in place that they had designed for themselves. Furthermore, in this moment, I taught them that all of the classroom expectations and rules would be enforced. This is why rules are important in the classroom. We had, as a group, established them. They were posted. Classroom management in that moment was simply me looking up, showing them the option, him the options, him quickly getting back on task and order was restored. I was barely interrupted from the work I was doing with a student. This changes the classroom culture because in that moment, all of the students were beginning their understanding that the rules like being kind, sharing, being respectful, keeping hands to self would be enforced too. Why are classroom rules important in the classroom? Well, classroom rules are the threads that weave together the fabric of classroom management, student engagement, and learning. This fabric is durably created from safety, respect, responsibility, focus, and productivity. With this fabric tightly woven together, you will be able to build classroom community, which will only build strength and resilience into your classroom rules and your classroom management. The following evidence-based practices are the pillars of my classroom management. Classroom expectations, community building, differentiation, social emotional learning, classroom organization. The activities necessary for community building and differentiation and instruction required solid classroom rules. And hopefully you can see that teaching students the value of committing to a community's classroom rules is a part of their social emotional learning. Finally, if taking responsibility for the classroom is a part of your expectations through chores and cleaning up after activities, then classroom organization also hinges on setting and reinforcing classroom expectations and rules. The impact on everything essential to classroom management is why classroom rules are important. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. One final thank you for sharing your time with me today. I want to encourage you that growth for a teacher is just like growth for a student, one step at a time. Be kind to yourself and congratulate yourself for each step forward that you take. You have been blessed with an amazing calling. The, the challenges are many, but I'm here to support you. You've got this. With my desire to walk with you in mind, I offer one last reminder. If you found this or any other video helpful, I encourage you to download the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.